All right, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to show you the updates for what I got in my garage, so to speak. So, this here is my daily. Bought it from work. 2009 Mitsubishi Eclipse GS, four cylinder, 2.4 liter single cam. It's got tinted windows, carbon fiber rear wing, and it looks like they powder coated the wheels. But yeah, so I haven't really done much to this outside of replacing my tail lights in the back that one burned out on the old pair and that one was broken on the old pair and then yeah so yeah, let's get a quick look inside and then it did have a viper alarm on it so that's pretty cool so interior is pretty decent but maybe i'll say six and a half out of ten Get this, I think it's a 10 inch sub with a kicker amp. Come far, it's pretty nice. You have basic interior, real cheap auto parts store mats. And my hand on this side broke. And that one on that side is pretty damaged. So, some work needs to be done. We have a Black Punk Apple CarPlay Android Auto Radio hooked up as well. Mm -hmm. Pretty decent. Dash is a little worn, so we're going to have to get that fixed. But yeah, we got some work coming for this thing soon, so stick around. Like I said, it is my daily driver, so little by little, we'll get it back. It does have a decent sport exhaust on there. Which sounds pretty nice. And so main things right now we need for this are complete bumper and side skirt replacements all around. And yeah, paint and wash. So eventually this will look different. I'm gonna keep the color because I do like the color. But yeah, that's it for that. Now we're gonna go inside and you're gonna check out the project car. Alrighty, and here is my project car, 2007 Infiniti FX35, it was running when I bought it, but battery died and it needs new catalytic converters, so I've got my work cut out for me, and since the battery died, like I said, I'll get to that in a moment here. Got 20 inch rims, which I'm going to probably change out. Don't really like those. Pretty awful interior. So that's why this one's mostly parked because we're going to replace that and our seats. And we're going to replace our door panels. We're going to convert it to a black interior. And then change that out to a Tesla style tablet screen. Where I found that. So, yep. We're going to come back and we're going to, for the time being, taper all this off. So from here up, I'm going to primer it black because as you can see, the paint's really oxidized. So just go all the way around from up there. Not this though. This is already gloss black, so we'll leave that alone. We're just going to go up with the roof, the hood, and the top of each side skirt and get it primer black. Replace this door handle. And yeah, replace the front and rear bumpers as well. And yeah, that's pretty much what we got going through. So, like I said, right now it's in pieces a little bit here because we are in the process of squaring around this garage here. It's kind of tight. So, yeah. Put out the negative ground cable. I'm gonna clean the contacts off of that and the side of the car where it connects. Those are the bolts for negative ground. Our fusible link and positive ground need to be cleaned off really good. And I need to get a power tool because this one's bolt tightened on a little too much. I don't want to tear the cable here. Looks like I've been slightly damaged, but. 
we're gonna try to, we're gonna take that up and fix that so we can still use it and here it is our battery which is fully charged with our new noco genius 5. yep so once i get the new cables here in fact now i think about it Yeah, this cable looks like it could be replaced as well. So I might just go ahead and replace both the cable and the fusible link. And then, yeah, already done the spark plugs. You know, so, and then, like I said, the cats need to be addressed. So this thing will be jacked up. And then I can take the cats and all 402 sensors off and replace them. And that'll be extended what I do with that for now.